My father once told me of a fire that burns within every man. A strength sealed in a man's heart and caged in a man's soul that defines him and tells him who he is. He said it was the reason every boy wants to be a hero, why every boy wants to grow up strong and brave, slay the dragon and save the girl of his dreams. It was this fire, he said, that defined a man, not the depth of his voice or the strength of his arm. It was this fire that allowed a man to stand and be judged before thousands without trembling. It allowed a man to always do good in the face of evil, speak the truth before liars, knowing the word death, but not fearing it. He said no good man can fear death. I've seen this fire. I've seen it in his eyes. I've heard it in his voice. I've been witness to the passion of his love for my mother, and I've known her happiness at being his one and only. I've seen her smile like I've never seen a woman smile before, and it is from that smile that my fire first burned. I told my father of this fire. I told him how it made me feel, how strong I wanted to be for a woman of my own, how I wanted to find a girl of my dreams to be my one and only, how much I wanted to love her, how much I wanted to fight for her. He told me of the shadow I would have to fight, the one lurking inside myself that would constantly tell me I needed something else. It would whisper in my ear of the things that it said were better, and I would never be satisfied if I didn't silence it. It was this shadow that extinguished the fire. It was this shadow that caused most men to give up, to give in to its whisperings, becoming an empty shell. He told me that he had been witness to many men losing their fire. He told me that all of them now fear death. I've battled the shadow. I've waged an epic war against it from the moment my father spoke of it. It has destroyed me countless times, has utterly wiped me out until I was on my knees begging for mercy. But each time I fell, my fire would save me. It would resurrect me and plant me on my feet to continue the battle stronger than before. Sometimes I would win and my enemy would withdraw and seek another weakness in which to strike at. Never would it surrender. But all along this battle has kept my fire alive. Through this war, this pain, my fire burned stronger than ever before. But still, I wondered where the dragon was. I couldn't defeat the shadow, and I thought I could at least slay the dragon and save the girl. And I couldn't find one. What can a man do when all the dragons have been slain long ago? What makes a man then? How can our fire burn? How can we truly call ourselves men? What happens to us then when our fire dies? Do we continue our existence as boys the rest of our lives, not knowing what beauty is, what magic could have touched us? I think that is why so many lose their fire. They don't know about the shadow. The shadow is the dragon. I had been fighting it the whole time. And now that I knew what the shadow truly was, I could kill it. And I did. I found her. I found the girl of my dreams. Now my fire burns for her. This fire within me that has grown so strong from my pain, I have now given to her. She said it was the best gift I could have given her, my one and only, this fire within.